Hey everybody, Teresa here from Inspiration Cards and I'm here today to share something a little different. It's something that I'm hoping to do a little bit more often of. Um, over the last little while, I've become quite a fan of fun folds and fancy folds and things like that. Um, and so I'm excited to share my very first fun fold card with you here today. And we're gonna be making a mirror fold card. So let's flip this around and I'll show you what's in store today. So here's our card. So this is a mirror fold card. So this is what it looks like closed. And when you open it up, there you go. so you can see it's like a mirror reflection kind of sort of of, um, of each of the sides. So for this one, I used some Melon Mambo cardstock and the um, Hues of Happiness designer series paper. Um, and that's actually where the, the flowers came from as well. So I've used the coordinating dies to cut out some of the, the flowers and leaves. And then for this one, I did a little bit of heat embossing to create the happy birthday phrase on that little bit of black cardstock. So in terms of recreating for today, I have the card measurements here, so you can copy those down and try this yourselves at home. So what you're going to need for the card base is a piece of five and a half um, by ten and a half inch cardstock, and you're going to want to cut that. Let me move my pieces here so you can actually kind of see. And so you're going to want to score that on the long side at three and a half inches and seven inches. Okay, and then the other piece that you're going to need to do with your card base is on each of the points, uh, on each of the score lines, you're going to go two inches down. And then from that mark, that pencil mark, you're going to go from the pencil mark to the corner and add another score line. And then from the pencil mark to the top of the other score line to create that, right? So that's going to help create our folds. Okay, so you're going to do that on one side and then you're going to flip that around and do it again on the other side, right? So you've got two kind of triangles on opposite on opposite corners, okay? For your pattern paper, so this time I'm using pear pizzazz. And I'm using here we go. All right. I'm using the painted Christmas designer series paper. This is a returning favorite from the holiday catalog. All right, and so what you're gonna need, so I've already done the cutting, but I'll show you what you'll need. So you'll have two pieces that are one and three quarter inches by three and a quarter. And then you'll have two pieces that are, when they're together, three and a quarter by five and a quarter. Okay, so with the two larger pieces, similar to what you did with your card base, you're going to make a mark at about the two, uh, two inches down on one side and then go from that mark to the opposite corner and cut that corner off and then repeat that on the other, on the other piece, okay? For the two smaller pieces, you're just gonna cut them in half. Just make sure that you cut them in opposite directions, right? So have one angling up to the left and then have the other one angling up to the right okay and because i'm using some colored cardstock for my card base right this is my piece of basic white cardstock and it was three and a quarter by five and a quarter just like this guy here and so you can see i took off i took off the corners right so again right mark a point down at about two inches up to the corner flip it around and repeat. Now this one, um, at times, I did kind of have to play around with it a little bit, but generally that, that should work for you. All right, so to get us going here, I'm gonna move my patterned pieces off to the side. There we go, make sure I don't mix them up. All right, and so you're gonna fold this in a Z fold, right? So you're gonna fold one to the outside all right, and make sure you line that up with those score lines. Okay, and then use my bone folder because you want nice sharp creases. And then this one's gonna fold in. Okay, so again, lining that up with your corners. Here we go. 
All right. And so those, those extra score lines, right? This is where you're going to add in the folds, right? There we go. So up here on the top, if this is going to be our top, this is going to go out. Right? So you want to give that a little, give it a little nudge to start. And then you can fold that back in on itself. Go slow, right? Do you want that those corners lined up before you before you crease your your cardstock? Go. All right. So now that that's in place, now I can get my bone folder. Okay. There we go. All right. So one's going to fold, the top one's going to fold back, and then this one is going to fold inwards. Okay. So just like with the, right, the Z fold of the card base, right? One goes out, one goes in. Same thing with your folds here. So again, so just like before, I can actually fold that flat. I'll like fold this in. Okay. Go slow. Make sure you've got that nice and lined up before you get your bone folder, letter opener, whatever it is you use to crease your edges. All right, so there we go. So there is our card base. Okay. All right, so let's grab our two larger pieces of designer series paper. And I'm just gonna use my stamp and seal to put this into place. You can use whatever your go-to is, tape runner, liquid glue, whatever that is. All right, and then you'll wanna flatten that out a little bit so you can place your pattern paper. Right, you'll have a little bit of that, a little bit of a border, right? So you'll still see that bit of pear pizzazz cardstock from behind. Okay, and here is our other piece. There we go. And again, same idea. There we go. All right, now with the smaller pieces, this is where um, I'm actually gonna grab my, my only purpose liquid glue. Those corners are a little tight. All right, so let's start with this guy here. Now you want, you may wanna line up your pattern paper first with the panels. I'm not too worried about that here. The liquid glue takes a little longer to, to set. So I have a, a couple seconds to get that in place. There we go. So again, you'll have a little bit of a border. Let me get that fluff out of there. There we go. Okay. And then this will go down in that bottom triangle. Okay. And again, that liquid glue has a little bit of forgiveness. So with these pieces that comes in handy. And of course, see, you'll see where our bit of white cardstock is going to go. All right. And so for our other panels, Again, so this is why it's important to make sure you cut those smaller pieces of pattern paper in opposite directions. Otherwise, you won't end up with the right shape for all four of your panels. So there we go. Okay, and again, see this last one will fit right down there in that last panel. Oh. 
another extra little bit of fluff. There we go. All right, so there we go. So there's all of our patterned paper, all our designer series paper attached. Now, because this is a small piece of um, basic white, I'm actually not going to um, stamp anything um, on here. I'm gonna grab my paper snips though and get those fuzzy, fuzzy edges a little bit. There we go. All right, let me just make sure I'm, there we go. All right, and so now I can take my stamp and seal, get those corners. I always like to add a little touch in the center. All right, and so that's gonna go right there in the center. So a great spot for adding a little handwritten note. That's actually why I'm not adding an image or a phrase to this part here. All right, now to the decorating. So for this, you can add in whatever you like. I've pulled in um, a few different things here and I actually think I'm gonna add a little bit more. So I've already cut out um, a bit of basic white. This is using one of the He's All That um, dies. And so we'll get to stamping that in a second. Um, but I've also used some of the spruced up dies that coordinate with the stamp set that I'm using here, the spruced up stamp set. There we go. And so the one thing I love about these um, these dies is one roll through the stamp and cut and emboss machine will actually give you two trees. So it'll give you a solid tree and it'll also give you the outline of it. So this is just a bit of pear pizzazz. And then I also have a couple of outlines left over from another project using the gold and silver foil designer series paper from the celebration catalog that's going on right now. All right, so there's a few pieces. But what I'm going to do is I do want to add a couple more trees. All right, so I'm going to add one of the, the larger trees with a little bit of pear pizzazz. tap that stamp onto your ink pad. There we go. There's one. And I want to do one more. I can do a smaller one. And I'm going to do it from one of the uh, using one of the other colors from the designer series paper. I'm going to use some evening evergreen with one of the smaller trees. So this guy right here. Apparently Leo has been in my, into my craft supplies because there's a cat hair. All right. So again, just gonna gently tap that ink pad and stamp together. And I'm just gonna maximize my cardstock. There we go. All right, I'm going to set this aside to dry because I'm actually going to fussy cut those. The one thing that's nice with these trees is they're really easy to do the fussy cutting with. So while that's drying, I'm going to grab my label here. And with that evening evergreen, there we go. I'm going to add, let's see, Let's add a Merry Christmas to the front. So to do that, I'm gonna grab the Merry and the Christmas. So I'm gonna just center the Christmas on there first. And then I'm gonna take the Merry and get it as centered and close to that Christmas as possible. There we go.
There we go. All right. Now, hopefully our trees have dried enough. I'm just gonna grab my paper snips. I just like to get rid of that excess first, makes it a little easier. As you can see, the shapes aren't too close together. They're not too small. Hey, Leo, you're not helping me, buddy. Here we go. Leo's decided to make his presence known. There we go. Right, and so just right, see how that right is a little bit of a hook, right? So it takes you straight down to that edge. Hey, buddy. All right, there's one. Usually he is not this interested when I am doing my crafting. All right, buddy, come here. Down you go. Ooh. All right. <laughs> All right, there we go. Tree number one done. Tree number two on its way. Again, so just take advantage of those little hooks. There we go. All right. So nice and simple. So now we have a little bit, a little bit more to decorate our card base. There we go. So of course I'm going to add that label on the front. So I want a nice little bit of combination of the different pieces. So I'm going to add in, right, a little bit of something at the front and the back. Actually gonna tuck in, there we go. Sort of like that. There we go. All right, so to start, let me pick up my pear pizzazz tree from the floor. There we go, all right. So, because we're working with little pieces here with our trees, again, just gonna grab my liquid glue. There we go. All right, and here's that gold and silver foil outline. So you can use the multi-purpose liquid glue or you can use the fine tip glue pen. Whatever you find works better. And if a little bit does kind of squish out at the side, don't worry. Nice thing with the with this liquid glue is it does dry clear. There we go. One. And let's grab tree number two. Now, 
And one way to make sure you don't have too much kind of squishing out the sides is to just make sure you just do little dabs and you don't actually have to cover the whole outline of the tree, right? As long as you get a little bit on each of those, each of those lines, you will be in good shape. All right, and this guy is gonna get added on with a couple of dimensionals here. So I'm actually gonna cut one in half. You could use the minis too, if you like. I'm gonna add just a little extra. There we go. And I was going to add some festive pearls to my card. They seem to have gone missing. So those hopefully will get added after the fact because I'm sure they will turn up as soon as I finish this video. All right, so there we go. And you can add in um, whether it's some gold to pull from the designer series paper, or if you want something completely different, you can use the red from the festive pearls. Um, I love the festive pearls, they're so pretty. All right, now for our back panel, this is where our solid pear pizzazz tree is gonna go. There we go. And we're gonna layer our evening evergreen tree on top. Oh, there we go. So it's almost like we get a little bit of a forest. All right, last tree. And you're all set. So there you have it. I hope you liked today's card. And if there's something specific that you're wanting for me to share, I would love to hear it. I'm always looking for new ideas to share with you guys. So post in the comments below, or you can send me an email at inspirationwithteresa at gmail.com. You can also check out all my other projects on social. You can find me at Inspiration Cards on both Facebook and Instagram. And you can also check out my blog where I share different projects and uh, different things that are happening. And of course, if you like today's video, please like and share so that others can enjoy it as well. And of course, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. See you soon.